think about the fun that you want to have in the summertime. This is one of those uh, events that you can have fun and, and you can meet other people in the community and learn from each other. So for me, I think it's a disservice to the community not having it. After a lot of back and forth, Rib Fest will not happen this year. The news coming as a bit of a surprise as other bigger festivals like Lala, as you heard, are a go. Anthony Ponce live in Romeoville with what led to this decision. Anthony? Yeah, Corey and Don, sadly, this decision came down to finances. Organizers of RibFest, which was set to take place here in uh, Romeoville, uh, say that with local uh, restrictions in terms of capacity still in effect, even though that Illinois is in the bridge phase right now, they say that there is a very real possibility that uh, hosting RibFest this year uh, wouldn't even break even for an event that is traditionally a big fundraiser for charity. It's, a, it's disappointing, for sure. For me, I think it's a disservice to the community not having it. Disappointment in Romeoville at Deer Crossing Park, where for the second straight year, Rib Fest was canceled because of COVID. We are still going to be under some uh, local restrictions that will um, inhibit a little bit um, what our uh, attendance can be. Rib Fest chair Bob Black says the event is supposed to raise big bucks for 50 plus agencies fighting both domestic violence and child abuse, but with capacity limitations still a big question mark. The concern was too high that the event might not even break even. We you know, really wrestled with this because we really wanted to hold this and we really wanted to try and get these funds. We also know that unlike Lollapalooza, we're not for profit. We don't have a big backing. Rip Fest was supposed to happen 4th of July weekend, but after what it called a situation analysis, the Exchange Club of Naperville concluded it couldn't guarantee, quote, health, safety, and success. We tried and we tried up to the, the 11th hour to try and figure out and make it work, but uh, unfortunately, we just, uh, it just can't be done. It's outdoors, I think, um, with some guidelines, it, w it should be okay. This would have been the 33rd year for the event. Organizers say they are now in the early stages of planning for 2022. We are live tonight in Romeoville. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32 News.